Hey guys, how's it going? So I thought I'd give my unbiased predictions for UFC 274. And uh, yeah, like I said before with my last prediction video, which was which I think was UFC 273, uh, I'm pretty sure. But the point is like with that last video, I was I only went through the first three fights or the last three fights that were going to happen. And it's going to be the same thing for this one. You know, I'm just going to talk about sort of the main card. I'm not going to go through the whole card, mainly because I just don't care. You know what I mean? I guess Donald Cerrone's fighting. I don't really care about that fight. You know, I think Cerrone's most likely going to lose again. Um, you know what I mean? And I think, yeah, this is, I just don't really care about those fights. But in terms of the top three, uh, I thought I'd give my predictions for those. So the first one we have is Tony Ferguson versus Michael Chandler. So it seems like a lot of people are, and I understand this, that a lot of people are picking Michael Chandler to win this fight. And that is probably the safer bet to make, considering Chandler is, the I think he's slightly younger than Ferguson, and also he's, you know, taking less damage. No, I don't want to say taking, well, he, he's just, he's looked worse than what Michael Chandler has looked, right? Because Michael Chandler, even though he's lost, his past three fights or two fights excuse me he still was able to rock like Oliveira and he almost finished all <clears throat> excuse me he almost finished Oliveira right and he was able to rock Justin Gaethje as well and go to war with him so I understand why people are picking Chandler in this fight you know also considering that Ferguson got completely you know rocked by Gaethje you know except the only success Ferguson had in that fight was when he rocked and dropped Justin Gaethje in the second round I think it was the second round of that fight but aside from that Gaethje completely obliterated him and that was um and just destroyed him and it was a it, it was just a mess you know and also you know Oliveira completely 3-0'd and would him uh same thing with Benil Dariush completely out completely out grappled him so that's that um for me though I actually think Tony Ferguson has a really good chance of winning this fight, and I'll tell you why. So, look, when Tony fought Justin, I knew that was a risky fight for Tony, even though I still picked him to win that fight, uh, I'll admit. And the reason for that is because it was such a, you know, I mean, Tony was supposed to fight Khabib originally, right? And then suddenly, you know, Khabib can't fight because of COVID issues or, or something like that. And suddenly, he has to fight Justin Gaethje. And I feel like that was such a stylistic switchover for Tony. And he just got confused. And you know what I mean? He wasn't well prepared for someone like Gaethje. You know, a striker and a, a, a huge puncher and counter puncher. As opposed to someone like Khabib, who's more of a wrestler and all that stuff. Don't get me wrong. I still think that Khabib would have beaten Tony Ferguson, right? But... I think that against Justin Gaethje, I feel like that would have been, you know, had he prepared a bit uh, better, had he had more time preparing, I think, I'm not saying he would have beaten Justin, but I'm just saying it would have been maybe a bit more competitive. And then, and when he fought Oliveira, I think, you know, when he fought Oliveira, that was sort of different, you know, I mean, Oliveira is obviously a better grappler than Tony, right? So I wasn't too surprised by that. And then when he fought Dariush, it was the same thing. You know, Dariush is a better grappler, I feel, and, and that was that. So, you know, also he also had the power to keep him at bay. So that was another thing. Um, now, against Michael Chandler, though, I think Michael Chandler, if he's able to stop Tony in the first few rounds of this fight, which is would you know probably the first round considering it's three fight uh, three rounds excuse me, then he probably will win like a TKO. But if Tony Ferguson can weather the storm and come out later and you know use his cardio to his advantage, because I don't think Chandler has trash cardio, but I don't think his cardio is at, is as good as Ferguson's. And you know I think Ferguson's cardio is a lot better, and I think that's gonna that would play a factor in this fight. So. You know, I think, I think Ferguson will win a decision. It's going to be a very close fight, in my opinion. I think, you know, Chandler's going to come out swinging, like he usually does in the first 
round. The second round, I don't know who will win that round. Uh, it's a, it could be a toss-up. And then the third round, I think, will go to Ferguson. So I think Ferguson will edge out a decision in this fight. And, um, yeah, although it depends, like, if... I don't know. It, it depends how well he's recovered from that Geishi loss and all that. If it's true what people are saying and he actually does have CTE, then, yeah, I'm going with Chandler on this one but I think if I think if Tony can like weather the storm and you know use his advantages in this fight then I think he can I think he can win a decision so I'm going with Tony Ferguson on that one all right the next one we have is Rose Namajunas versus Carl Esparza I'll be honest I'm not really I'm not too invested in this woman's strawweight division I think this is a strawweight fight um and I also don't know much about either fighter. If anything, I know more about Rose. But I guess they had a first fight uh, between them. The, the, like, But it was way back when they were, you know, really inexperienced, right? I, 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 don't, I mean, I don't know too much because I don't, like I guess I don't watch the uh, women's strawweight division all that much. But um, in terms of this fight, like from what I've seen, it, it does seem like Rose is the favorite. So I'll probably go with her. It seems like a lot of people are saying that, oh, she's improved a lot. She's going to box her head off and or she's going to completely outbox her and all that stuff. So if that's true what people are saying, then I'll go I'll go Rose. But if but I guess if, if it gets to the ground like people are saying it is, then or they're saying it could, then I guess that's where Carl Esparza can win. So, yeah, either way, I'm, go I'm going Rose with this fight. Uh, I, I think probably by knockout or just lopsided decision. I don't know, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Again, I, I wouldn't, um, you know, I'm not an, on I'm not a, what do you call it, like, reliable source for that fight, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, you know, you can make up your own prediction for that fight, but I'll go Rose in that fight for sure. Um, Okay. Next up, we have... Last but not last but not least, Charles Oliveira versus Justin Gaethje. Okay, so this one is I'm kind of surprised by the reaction to this fight online because it seems like a lot of people are, I don't want to say they're not giving Justin a chance, but it's they seem to have Oliveira as this huge favorite, like he's, you know, gonna completely destroy Gaethje in this fight, and I'm not saying that can't happen. It certainly could, but I just I think Gaethje has a better chance than what people are giving him, right? I think, in my opinion, you know, I think people are looking at the fact that Charles beat Dustin Poirier and Dustin Poirier beat Justin. And look, we, we are, we've seen in the past that MMA math or boxing math as well doesn't work like that, right? Just because A beat B and B beat C doesn't mean A automatically beat C, right? I mean, we've seen this with, you know, Dominic Cruz. Like when Dominic Cruz fought TJ Dillashaw, he beat TJ Dillashaw, Right. And, you know, when he beat, when he fought Cody Garbrandt, he lost to Cody Garbrandt. But TJ Dillashaw came back and completely knocked out Cody Garbrandt twice, right? So, in terms of this matchup, I think it's stylistically a different fight. The reason Dustin Poirier struggled with someone like Charles Oliveira is because he's not good at, or he's not the best at defending against takedowns and overall just dealing with grapplers right but you know he's got good boxing ability that's why he was able to beat Geishi because he knows how to deal with counter punchers like that I mean in my opinion Dustin Poirier is the best boxer in his division period right um and you know it's just when he fights grapplers that's when he gets in trouble Justin Geishi though <laughs> excuse me Justin Geishi though in my opinion is a lot better at dealing with grapplers, I think, right? Because, or maybe not a lot better, but I think he is, he has better takedown defense and overall defense, he's better at defending against grapplers, in my opinion. And in terms of the Khabib loss, look, we all knew how that fight was going to play out. I mean, Khabib is levels above Geishi, right? He's level levels above Oliveira as well, when it comes to grappling, in my opinion, especially the wrestling department. And also, Khabib is a lot stronger and, you know, a, a more skilled wrestler than someone like Oliver. Oliver is just a submission artist and that's it, right? But it's about taking your opponent down and then submitting them, right? And in my opinion, I think that 
Justin is not going to struggle with Oliveira as much as he did against Khabib. So that being said, I think what will happen in this fight is Geishi is probably going to get a knockout or a stoppage in the first two rounds. Uh, just my opinion. You know, I think Oliveira, I don't know, people say he has a bad chin. I don't think he has a, I mean, I don't think he has like a great chin, you know what I mean? But it's not like the best either, right? I think he just has a, he has an okay chin, right? Um, I don't, like I said, he's he's tough, you know, he is definitely tough for coming back from the Michael Chandler and Dustin Poirier knockdowns, but that's not chin, you know, that's just toughness, so. That being said, if those guys were able to drop and almost finish Oliver, then I think Justin will probably finish Oliver. So I'm going with him in this fight by knockout in the first two rounds. Um, it's not necessarily what I want to happen, right? But I mean, because look, if Oliver wins this fight, then you know that'd be great because then he would really solidify himself as the best, um, you know, the the best lightweight on the planet, right? But I don't know. I, just, I have a hard time seeing him win this fight. If he, he has to, like, I think, in my opinion, rock Geishi and then take him down. And then he has a better chance. But, and, you know, it could happen because Oliver's got, you know, some underrated power and good striking. But at the same time, I don't think that it's, I don't know. I, I just, it's, it's about hitting your opponent, right? Landing. And against Geishi, that's kind of difficult to do. You know, especially if Oliver tries to brawl with Geishi. If he tries to do that, then I do think he's going to get stopped. So, yeah, that's my pick. And, you know, overall for the top three fights happening, those are my picks. I got Ferguson, Nama Yunus, and Geishi uh, winning these fights. So, yeah. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Um, and that's that. Hope you guys enjoy the fight. With fights, plural. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care and peace.